Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. Today, I'm going to make some grandkid food. Make them real happy. I'm going to make sheet pan quesadillas. Now, I was telling my grandson I was going to make sheet pan quesadillas, and he said, Nan, I didn't know you cussed. I said it real slow. Sheet pan quesadillas. And uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to tell you what all's going on. You know, when you make quesadillas, you can put whatever you want to in them. So what I'm going to put in these today, I cheated. I bought uh, fajita chicken, and I'm going to caramelize some onions and put the chicken meat in with them. If it was for me, it would have bell peppers in it and everything else, but they don't like bell peppers. So I'm going to caramelize some onion and heat the chicken in with that. And then we're going to make our quesadillas, and we'll get them in the oven, and then those kids will have a feast after a while. So y'all come on over here to the butcher block. Watch what we're doing so you can make some for your people. If y'all hear a big noise going on in the background, that's my electric uh, tea kettle getting ready for me to make tea. But the first thing I'm going to do, it said to spray your pan with Pam or kitchen spray. But I put some of this garlic olive oil on mine. You want to take your flour tortillas and you're going to put them over the edge of your pan, overlap them, and I'll, I'll show y'all. And you can follow the recipe and you can make your, your quesadillas with ground beef. I'm going to use uh, chicken. You know why? Because that was easy today. I've been making aprons, and I thought, hmm, I'll just buy some of that chicken, and that will be easy to use. So you want to lap them over the edge, and then you want to close your hole up in the middle with tortillas. And let me see if I can pick this up without spilling them. You see what I've done? I lapped them all around the edge, and then I covered the middle up. And when we get our goodie ready, we'll just put it on there, and then we're going to fold it back over and put some more to close that hole and weight it down to where it won't come undone. But right now, we got to get goodie ready. So I've got uh, olive oil in my skillet over here, and I've got two onions that I have uh, just done in slices, little smileys. And I'm going to put them in there and let them... Uh, basically caramelized because I like caramelized onions. So we'll let them caramelize and I'll bring y'all back when that's done and we'll try to get the rest of this assembled. Now the fun thing about doing it this way is you can make big old fat quesadillas and put a bunch of different stuff in them. Now I would like black olives and bell peppers in them but I had some votes that voted no so we're not going to put that, but that's a possibility. But we are going to put black beans and whole kernel corn. So it's really going to be a meal in one. So y'all hang around and we'll have a good meal here in a little bit. I don't know if y'all could see a while ago, so I'm going to show you. See the side of the pan and you hang them over the side. And then when you get them like that, it's going to leave a hole in the middle. So you're going to cover that hole up. Make sure all of your pan is covered with tortillas. And then I've got my onions over here. They had not started doing anything to show yet, but um, they'll caramelize here in a minute, and we'll get this game on the road. Okay, y'all can see that the onions are starting to caramelize and kind of look like fajita onions, and that's what I wanted. So I'm going to add my fajita meat, and I'm going to add whole kernel corn and black beans to this. I was draining my corn with my little top drainer. Okay, let me get my black beans. I rinsed and drained them. So let me give this a little stir. Okay. In just a minute now, we'll add our chicken to this and let it heat. Then we'll show you what we're going to do next. Now this fajita meat is from Aldi and it's Appleton Farms and it doesn't have any artificial ingredients or anything. So it's going to make some really good healthy um, quesadillas if you can make them healthy. Okay, 
I have added one whole clove pod of uh, my roasted garlic. I squeezed it in there and stirred it up. And I put a tablespoon of onion powder and about three-fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder. So you've got your two medium-sized onions that I caramelized. And then I added a can of washed and drained black beans, a drained can of whole kernel corn, that garlic and the seasonings that I just told you. I sprinkled some salt and ground some black pepper in it. Now what we're going to do is spread it on our tortillas here. But first I'm going to put down a layer of cheese because I want them to really goop together. And I'll goop together. That's real intelligent um, verbiage right there. They're going to goop together. And then I'll put some more cheese on the top after I put the meat and the vegetable mixture in here. So let me just pile it on there. Get that off the fire. By the way, the oven is heating to 425. So I need to get my cheese over here. And I just bought uh, just quesadilla cheese. And I'm just going to put it on my tortillas here. I have a little old quesadilla maker that I bought at Goodwill. And that is the neatest little old feller. And we make quesadillas with it pretty regular too when the kids are around, the grandkids. Y'all, I've got two other grandsons besides April's kids, but they're, they live way away from me and I don't get to see them very often. But now Christmas tree, they came and the oldest one brought me, he got me some cup towels that would fit his nana. It says, how's about cooking something up with me? Isn't that cute? Little iron skillet on there. And that one is Trey. And the reason he's Trey is because he's Troy Wayne Jordan III. And then my son's other son is named Colt. And I don't get to see him often enough, so the ones that's here to eat the most is, is the Mac Pack because they live 15 miles down the road. Mac Pack is because their last name is McMahon, and I've just always called them the Mac Pack. They were kind of a package deal. When April was working, she's a pharmacist, and when she was working all their growing up years, and I kept them, I had the pack because it was a package deal. So that has stuck. In fact, one of her friends took that. Their last name was Macmillan, and she took my Mac Pack and got put it on her license plate. Okay, I'm just filling this cheese up with this goodness. You make a salad, and you're going to have a whole meal here. Now, I'm going to make some kind of soup here directly to go with this. And I'll film it, that y'all will see it one day this next week, or this week. I'm not sure when. And Troy wouldn't want anybody to know anything, but we're going to Methodist Hospital in the morning, which is Tuesday morning. But this will come out sometime Tuesday. And we're going to give him fluids to hydrate him so that he can flush the dye out, and he's going to have heart cath on Wednesday. So if y'all want to add a little prayer, you can, and I will let y'all know what, what we find out. If he has a blockage that can be fixed with a stent, they'll put a stent in. And if he doesn't have, if it's too big for a stent, they would um, do bypass and we'll have that scheduled. And if they can't find anything, then it's probably going to be the thickening of his heart. He has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which you can look that big old word up. It simply means that the fibers of your heart. Instead of growing line upon line like they should, they grow like a bunch of pickup sticks that have fallen and they just get thicker and thicker and thicker. So we really don't know what we're looking at. But we know the great physician and we're just trusting him to have his way. So the rest of this week, I don't know when I leave here in the morning when I'll be back home. So I'm going to upload videos for tomorrow, Thursday, and Saturday so that I'll have something coming out for y'all to watch. And I hope that they fix him and we get back home Wednesday evening, but I don't know. 
So I'll try to make a comment on something and let y'all know if you specifically address it. But that's what our life's looking at right now. And we're just going to trust the Lord. Do you see here I'm folding this over? And what you do, you get them all folded over and try to poke them down where they'll stick. And then you put a, a pan on top of it to hold it. And I need about four monkeys in here helping hold this down. I guess the thing that I should have done was get some toothpicks. This cookie sheet right here, which is a stoneware cookie pan, or sheet pan, and I'm going to set it on the top to hold everything down. Right now, let's see if I can lay that knife across there and hold most of that. And put that there. Take my that. All right, I think I've got them all pressed down good and all folded in. So I'm gonna put them in the oven at 425 and let's see how long it says that they need to stay in there. 20 minutes. Then we're gonna remove this pan and let them bake a little bit longer and see if they'll burn you. So let me get them in the oven. them I can get brown real quick in that hot oven but they'll probably take their own sweet time so I'll be back in a minute and show y'all some browned quesadillas ready to get that pizza cutter and cut them and feed my hungry munchkins that's waiting okay y'all see I have taken the uh, pan off the top and I'm just going to scooch them back in there and let them brown real good I got the quesadillas out, and I'll show y'all up close here in a minute, but while they're good and hot, I'm going to run some butter around on the top of them. Because when I do them, my stove has a griddle there in the middle. There's two burners on one side, then the griddle, then uh, four burners. Well, I like to do quesadillas on that griddle, and I like to do them with butter. So I'm going to give them some good butter flavor on the top here before I cut them. And I could have melted it and brushed them, but this is just how I do it at my house. I just run that stick of butter around on there. Okay, I've got them buttered. I'm going to let them cool just a jiffy before I cut them, but I'm going to show y'all. Let me get the camera off the stand here. Okay, see, they're just all stuck together good, and we're just going to cut them like cornbread or something and eat them like that. But it makes it easy to make a whole bunch at one time. I lifted the end up and I put a cutting board under there because I'm going to cut them with my pizza cutter and I didn't want to ruin my, uh, my pan. I'm not pressing hard enough or something. I don't have the strength of a little baby hardly anymore. Let me get me a knife and see if I can help myself out some. Now, oh, I can smell that good garlic. I'm kind of ham scrambled today, folks. I'm sorry. So you've got your quesadilla with all the goodness in it. And then I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do to plate them up. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, y'all, we've got a good meal coming up at our house. I just put me some sour cream and some fresh tomatoes and some avocado, and that's what we're going to doctor this up with. Now, I'm going to add a dollop of my, or a spoonful of my homemade Rotel relish, Rotel tomato stuff, but I put fresh on this one because kids don't like everything that's in, in the Rotel, so that's more for me, haha. -ha. Hope y'all will try this. It's just good for a crowd. I should have just took the whole... Uh, sheet and put it on the butcher block and just rolled it with the pizza cutter 
but it was so hot, I thought I'd just leave it in the pan where it would stay warm for the family to eat. But you can cut it however you want to, but let me tell you, it's delicious. So here's another recipe. I don't know what time Tuesday y'all will see this. My internet is crazy. Sometimes it takes 10 or 15 hours to do a video. So whenever you see it, I hope you enjoy it. And there will be a cooking for one or two coming up Thursday. Don't miss that one. And a delicious soup on Saturday. It's going to be cold around here, so soup is going to come in handy. So y'all come on back, see what's going on in the kitchen. Watch your back, be kind to each other, and get all the sugar out of every day that you can. Make every day count. Remember, it's the present, it's a gift. So enjoy it. The Lord bless y'all, and I'll see you in a day or two.